this is 14 Minutes of Fame. I'm James Bradford. And I'm Caroline Ritchie. And we got a lot to talk about today. Uh, we haven't been in action here for a few weeks. Uh, one of the reasons uh, is because I got COVID. I had the COVID-19. So uh, we don't really know exactly how I got it, um, but I contracted it somehow. And um, for two weeks I was really, really sick, um, and everybody was quarantined uh, that, that had to do with this show, and our Rot Wheels episode was completely put on hold, And um, but I'm back in action now. Uh, it's been uh, four weeks. Fully recovered. Fully recovered. Um, I will tell you, it was no fun. Um, no, I really felt bad for you, because I kept in touch with him the entire time, and I just... <laughs> I have so much sympathy for you. I, you know, it, it was really scary. I, I'll, I'll tell you, um, having, I, I had a headache for six days. Literally, it did not go away for six days. Um, and if anybody's out there that's had a dehydration headache, um, you'll, you'll know it like starts around your eyes or a migraine type headache basically for six days solid, it did not go away. Um, and I tried medications, um, uh, pain medications, it just did not help at all. So uh, that was probably the worst part of it. Once that went away, um, I had some nausea. Uh, I could feel it moving around my body. Literally, it would my chest would be hurting uh, one day and then my stomach would be hurting the next day. So the second week was just really weird with it moving around. Um, my skin was uh, very sensitive to touch. So I've heard from a, a few other people that have gotten it uh, that their skin was numb. Um, but mine was not numb at all. As a matter of fact, it was hypersensitive to, uh, say, like my wife was trying to rub my arm or my head to make me feel better. Uh, it was painful. So I found that to be very interesting and, and scary also because you just I've never had anything like that. Well, you had it more of like it being an infection rather it being, you know, the typical cold symptoms. And you didn't really have that much of a fever, did you? You, you told me you had nothing over like 101. 100 degrees. No, I mean, nothing, not, not that I know of. I mean, every time we took my temperature, it was like right around 100 degrees. So low grade temp. Um, that, that wasn't really hurting me. Um, I, it, I'll tell you, it, it's just it's something that's very interesting. I know millions of people have gotten... Uh, this uh, COVID and they have no effects whatsoever. So one other person in our circle actually had it and he, he tested positive, but he never got sick at all. Uh, and he's older than me. He's probably 10 years older than me. So, um, but now everybody's been retested in our circle and we're COVID free right now. Uh, although Hilton Head Island is kind of a mess with, it's teeming with virus. <laughs> yes. So yeah. we're, we're all having to wear masks and uh, trying to stay safe. So everybody out there, please stay safe. And uh, uh, I was a, a big s skeptic of this virus because no one I knew um, had it or had gotten it. And, uh, you know, with the, the media and how they, they swing it, um, I really was a, a big skeptic of it. And... Um, it, I, I got it. So it, I'd have to say, you know, it's real. So Well, you ran yourself down. You were really, really like nonstop working the whole, what, week before you got sick? So yeah, a couple weeks before. It was, it's really, really important to keep up on, you know, your regular vitamins, you know, eating, going to the bathroom, like showering, just keeping yourself in a good, you know, health state and just staying clean. Mm -hmm. Um, because you were just running yourself rampant the whole time. Um, yeah, I think that that had a lot to do with it. We were, you know, I was talking to uh, my son about that, and he uh, he mentioned that, you know, Dad, you were, you went from going uh, from pretty much zero, and we were just kind of, you know, goofing off with the cars and, and having fun to 150 miles an hour at the stores and uh, not eating right. Uh, there was two days that I remember I did not drink any water from like 8 30 in the morning till 6 30 at night so those kind of retail days where you're so busy that you don't even think to drink any water you're dehydrating yourself and 
You know, so these are big no-nos. So just uh, so everybody out there, all our viewers know that it is real and to be safe, be careful, uh, wear your mask, um, and uh, just know it's, it's, it's not, a, not a hoax, so. Don't take your health for granted, because when I found out he had it, I, I kind of went into a panic mode. I was, I was like, there's no way I don't have it. I sat next to you on our last podcast. Yep. I, you know, I was in cars with you. We were, you know, in close proximity the whole time. I was just like, okay, I'm either going to get it or I'm going to be asymptomatic. I don't know. I kept myself in a good um, health standpoint, so I wasn't super worried. But at the same time, you never know. And then spreading it and just there's so many things that go on. So honestly, staying as, you know, in low contact as possible. And we even stayed in our own circle. I think it just, I don't know where it came from, but... And there's no point in pointing fingers because everybody's going to get it at some point. I'm so but. glad that I was the only one in this circle that, that got sick, you know, and, and that had it. So um, that that's it. I mean, for the COVID thing, I, I, I'm I glad it's over with and I hope I don't get it again. And I'm going to donate my blood to uh, Red Cross and they're going to do some, um, I guess they take it and they, they yeah, use it and they're going to do the antibody, te antibody test on it. And maybe we'll... I'll have the antibodies and I'll be like Superman. You know, I won't ever get COVID again. Okay, don't take it too far. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's exciting, exciting weekend. This weekend, July 4th. Tomorrow is July 4th. This is crazy. Um, hopefully we get this up tonight. We burned a whole month. <laughs> yeah. Or you burned a, a whole month. month. <laughs> yeah, but uh, July 4th and it's a full moon. Yeah, it is a full moon. I saw that on the way to the grocery store tonight, man. And big race weekend. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a massive race fan. I love watching auto racing. Um, this weekend, they are racing Indy cars at Indianapolis on Saturday. Uh, I did get to watch the qualifying today when I was at home, and Will Power got the pole. They are racing the, they're actually racing the road course for the Indy cars. Oh, okay. Cool. And then they're racing the very next day, they're racing NASCAR on the, the two and a half mile. Yeah, you were yeah. saying that earlier. That's awesome. So, super cool. Um, uh, I did, now, Indy car guys, they actually had to earn their, you know, their, <laughs> their positions or where they start. Uh, NASCAR guys are like picking pills or, you know, they're picking uh, their numbers uh, when wherever they start on the grid. Yeah. And Joey Longano, Longano which I'm not a fan of, uh, he's uh, he's got the pole for a NASCAR race. Really? Now, the other cool thing is, is Formula One starts back this, this weekend also. Are any of these allowing spectators? No. I didn't think well, so. Well, actually, NASCAR, I think, is allowing very minimal uh, spectators. Like so with social distancing. 5,000 people, you know. Indianapolis can fit 150,000 people. Yeah. So there might as well be nobody there if there's five or 10,000 people. Yeah, it's just, that's, you know, so it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. But uh, Austrian Grand Prix starts also Sunday morning at 9, a, or 9 a.m. So you can watch that. Sounds like you got your priorities straight this weekend. Well, the problem <laughs> is it's the biggest weekend in all of vacation time. So our island is full and... Uh, of vacationers we have 130,000 people that are going to check in tomorrow and uh, all of my bikes uh, you know I own a bicycle rental company and all of our rentals are, are rented so uh, I'm not going to be able to watch the, the Indy race tomorrow but I am recording it so I'm going to watch it that tomorrow night. I was going to say you could also listen to it on the radio like cruising around dropping off bikes. <laughs> I, I See I'll be in the yard turning bikes over and working on them I, I have drivers that are going to go out and do that my back doesn't allow me to do much of that anymore. Or shoulder. Yeah, the shoulder, back. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild. Yeah. Well, I have my priorities straight this weekend. I'm actually gonna enjoy my weekend, and I've been working on my car nonstop. The speedle behind me for how many weeks now? I mean, it the the project started four weeks ago. It started right as, I mean, I think we pulled it in here, and then I got sick. Yeah, you helped me tear down the floor pans, and then you got sick, so I was kind of SOL, and just put my head down on it for a week or so, and then was just like, I can't deal with sitting here and staring at it, like, let's do something. You were, you quarantined and learned how to weld. I quarantined and learned how to weld by myself, <laughs> yeah. Self-taught, yeah. 
I love it. That's, it was, that is the best way. I mean, you, you taught yourself. You had some people come in, show you a few, how to do a few things. and. Well, I had people come in before you got sick. And then these people were like, I'm not coming back because he got sick and you've been close to him. Yeah. And you were in your shop. I still cannot believe I didn't get it. Thank God I didn't. Uh, I mean, all of us were together. I mean, yeah. so it's, it's uh, to think about it, uh, you know, Chris, uh, everybody, you know, I know Chris was out of work too. So, um, you know, from, because he had to be quarantined from, from work. And um, Sean, everybody had to be um, quarantined uh, there for at least the two weeks. So, yeah. Um, but we, we got through it, you know, and, and we're getting through it and we're going to be fine. Uh, I think this uh, virus is going to have to take its course. And I don't think they're going to have a, uh, I don't think they're going to have a, um, a vaccine for it anytime soon. No. So uh, it's just going to have to take its course. And, and it's kind of like a giant upgrade for our systems, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been kind of in the midst of all this kind of, in a way, I guess, antisocial, reclusive. <laughs> I have been too. Yeah. I've been working on my own business. I've been working on my car and I've been enjoying every minute of it. So I'm taking full advantage of the whole social distancing and staying away from people. The only time I really go out is if I absolutely need something or if I need to go to the grocery store or like I'm desperate for a car part. <laughs> but that's about it. And then we mask up and you know, hand sanitizer and... Oh, yeah, we don't touch know, car door handles yeah, until we... Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, well, you know, we avoided talking about COVID for a long time in our podcast just because we didn't really want to get involved in that and, and we wanted to kind of have cool things and talk about cool things, keep people's minds off of it. Yeah. And then I, I get it. It's... It's just crazy. To, it's really crazy to think about. It is a little ironic because our last podcast was touching on a little bit of COVID, on yeah. how we don't want to get it and all this good junk. Um, and how sick I was of social distancing. and Yeah, uh, boo-hoo. Karma yeah. got you, man. I know, I know. <laughs> it, was just, it was just like, and two days later, I mean, it came on like a, a lightning strike. It literally just yeah. you know, knocked me out. So scary. I... I just hearing everything in the social media and in the media in general and everything we tried to avoid just talking about it because we didn't want to oversaturate it in you know in our youtube channel in our own lives because everybody hears enough about it already mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's kind of ironic in a way that four weeks ago when this started for you like just started to kind of kick in it <laughs> thank you for the stomach growl I had when a nice first, dinner tonight. <laughs> when it first started to to um, to kick in, it was all over the place. Everybody was so worried. And now, like, people are acting like it's a figment of their imagination. Mm. Some people are taking it seriously, and I'm taking it even more seriously now that I, I physically know someone who has had it and has it, or, you know, mm -hmm. I guess it, you still have it in a way. Um, it is kind of sad that it is being so passed along people don't want it to interrupt their vacations like we're about to have 130,000 people come on the island and they're finally forcibly having people wear masks but that doesn't mean everybody's wearing a mask well you don't have to wear a mask outside you can be walking around you ride your bike you don't yeah. have to mask on you have to mask when you go into anybody's business where you're in an enclosed area or contact or if you're going to be face to face with somebody so I, I don't know I think the uh I, I think it's going to be self-policed and most businesses are going to be hey you got to have a mask on and i think everything will be fine and it's not going to be a real terrible inconvenience you know for most people so and um so but we are doing the rot wheels episode on the speedle which i think is uh, we've been working on that and we've got a lot of footage for it so uh hopefully that'll come out in the next uh week or two we should be able to get that up in the Going. I'm so excited to have this thing running and driving. It, it has been what, maybe a month and a half since I've actually had it running and driving. Yeah. Because we brought it in here like a month ago, but I just, I don't know, it was running weird. I didn't want to deal with it. It was just so <laughs> yeah. crappy before it came in here. So I'm excited to finally drive it around. It's registered. It's finally legal. I have all the good things. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm just excited. That's all. Well, <laughs> the carpet in it looks great. You did a fabulous job on that. And I mean, Chris did a great job with the box on the back, you know, so it just, 
looks, it looks, I mean, it's an entirely, it doesn't really look entirely different on the outside, but on the inside, it is completely a new bug on the inside. I can't wait to send the guy some photos of the bug, the guy I bought it from, because he, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this thing up real nice. Like, he just didn't believe me. <laughs> I'm so proud of your floor pants. I'm excited, yeah. Thank I you. I mean, I, you sent me a picture, and I'm like, are those booger welded, or what? <laughs> what's going on? Are those, eh, you know, and then I came in here after I was cleared, look over, and I was like, oh, those look really good. <laughs> I should have done them like the more professional way, but it's so... I don't think you can tell that they're not done professionally. They look wonderful. No, I know, but the proper way of doing them with Beatles or I think any Volkswagen is just take the whole body off. But my body, part of it is rusty, part of it isn't rusty. It probably just would have warped the whole thing, so I'm glad I didn't do it. It's a but... much safer vehicle now because it was a Flintstone mobile before. Well, I'm excited. I won't have like an underbreeze now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like my floor pans, I had three layers of sheet metal. You remember? Right. Of just there oh, was yeah. rust, well, rust, and then sheet metal. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember. Like, it was more like hole, and then <laughs> like aluminum, and then it was like a sign in there from what town? McRae. McRae, Georgia. I mean, Where I picked it up? Yeah, <laughs> I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that sign for sure. It's not going I mean, anywhere. It was. That was brutal, but it looks beautiful now. So, and the, you know, that, that pedal bolted right up, uh, putting the pedal system back in, and you got that all hooked up. So, I mean, you're pretty much ready to get the the electronics done on it, on the motor, and you can start driving it. So, I'm actually really, really, really impressed with how you built those seat brackets. I know it's not total rocket science, but the fact that you built them out of, it's that, um, that corner stuff for making shelves, the slat. Oh, yeah. You well, know, where they have a little uh, round... Yeah, it kind of gives it a little industrial look, and, like, it it, it gives it a little beauty. Mad Maxi? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. But the, the easiest thing about those seat brackets were uh, everything's symmetrical. Yeah. So I could just take a measurement, you know, the, the front, front two legs were four inches long, and the back two legs were three inches long, and it was very simple. Yeah. Uh, doing it in a Torino, um, totally different because every leg had to be a different size. So it takes a lot more longer to do that. Yeah. Well, that'll be on a Rot Wheels episode soon. We're almost done shooting that, thankfully. Cool. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to wrap this up. Yeah, I think we're just about out of time. Who do you think we need to thank in our, for our, our, our um, for, our, for our podcast? Yeah. For, for the, the podcast? For the, the 14 podcast, minutes of fame. The 14 minutes of fame. Who, who do you think we need to thank? You know, definitely like, fuel clothing because obviously that's showing up everywhere. Oh yeah. Same <laughs> bike doctor at Hilton Head, right? Mm-hmm. And Land Speed Automotive. Land Speed Automotive and Carolina Towing. Who else? Look behind you. What? What's uh, on my door? <laughs> Rebels Navy. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Do it again just for fun. Hey everybody, happy 4th of July from Inch Inch Wheels. Hey, hey everybody, happy 4th. Fourth... <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold on, give yourself, ba, da, da, give yourself da, da. a little bit of a pause so I can support this. Hey everybody, happy 4th of July. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to HH Wheels.